south side, but don't push. Do you have meds at all? I have one. I have one half. I'm gonna let that one simmer. Out of here. I have mini and a head of sniper. Don't forget to mix it and stir it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, not that far. <laughs> You're a troll, bro. But yep, dude, outside infight again. Yeah, these guys are looking to see if it's gonna be another third party situation. I think Chap said that Oops Wrecked is still here again. Having trouble killing a henchman might be uh, trouble somebody fights off against Tifu and Scoped, assuming they're still here. But the fight starts again. Yeah, I think so. my audio is so And it was Scoped. Opening vault right now. Combines for them, and they do have the minigun. They do have the vault key and they do get the vaults. Quick outs. I'm in the vault. For them, a lot of loot available and Chap and AV have already made it out and gone by the time this went down. They've already this is when they're starting to take that chest up and starting to glide away. Who's actually left over in the grotto on the other side up top on the mountain? Chap and no AV way. await <laughs> who's coming through. We thought it was over, but it hasn't even begun yet. I watch the bushes. Oh, yeah, they're probably going to go out bushes. Holy sniper. Just start the Tifu and Scoped. Well, Tifu and Scoped is in semifinals, so. Oh, yeah, true. I don't think we've ever had a team have a fast start we've seen fast finishes like good really really strong finishes but we haven't seen strong starts so maybe i guess i don't know regardless it's six games no need to worry shark and knight which looks like against scoped and tifu a battle that we saw last week a battle that shark and knight dominated in Not necessarily dominate. They came in from the third party while Clarity G was one v twoing them. <laughs> now that I get the full memory, four has been the secret number for heats on land, which is probably what I'm just getting mixed up with. You guys don't have to try to yes. attribute something to me getting mixed up with something. Like it could be anything, but. <laughs> <laughs> Someone mentioned TwitchCon. Nah. I mean, no. nah. Ri like, the Rival show? I didn't really care about that show as much as I loved that show. Mm -hmm. That was... Wasn't that... Too, that was, like, two games, if I remember. I, I think it's good. I think it it's all good. played yeah. out, like, I, I can't think of any other ways to lower the amount of players in the lobby besides, like, incentivizing fighting people more with like mm -hmm. guaranteed upgrades of weapons or guaranteed mobility drops or guaranteed trap drops or something that is worth pushing a duo for or a squad pushing a team for a player for a reason yeah. and like get a reward from it not just a point like an in-game the, the thing that the reward needs to be is it needs to give you a better chance at winning the game you know yep. like a weapon upgrade or Mm -hmm. Siphon, for example, like that's a recovery method. You need recovery yeah. and you need some extra thing that will give you a better chance at winning the game, like mobility. Throw you off. Could just be getting unlucky swings week to week. You know, 50 teams out of a thousand qualifying for the finals. Sometimes one top team will get left out. True. Is it weird that every time I we tune into this team, I think it's Ninja playing? <laughs> Man, having your own skin in the game, that is... Yeah. Who do you think the next Icon skin that's like... That actually makes sense? Like, did actually... What? Hold up. There we go. Okay, I was wondering how that launchpad even deflated like that but the next icon skin mm -hmm. that like actually relates to fortnite not like some guy we've never heard of or has nothing to do with like fortnite at all like you know travis scott or whatever 
I mean, I think it was leaked that it was Travis Scott. That'd yeah, I cool. know, but like, oh, right here, right here, right here. he has nothing to do with Fortnite. Like, what if it's Chap? <laughs> I, don't know, I would assume it'd be Pokemon. Well, Pokemon was already leaked. Okay. Uh, no, wait. She just got a. She just got a emo. Or whatever. Can we not yeah. talk? Like, what do we? Never mind. Let's just. Yeah. Let's just do that. I was wondering. These guys are getting hit by storm surge. I'm talking about the Pokemon dance. Like. <laughs> Give me that Pokemon dance. <laughs> All right, AV. Show us what you got. What can he get from Chap's body? Uh, Mats? Yeah. No, this is not worth it. Oh, he has floppers, oh, maybe. No, nope. no, nope, not worth it. AV clutch time, baby. Lure switch, none left. Floppers. He's stuck. There we go. He has so many mats. Yeah, there's the flopper, there's the mini. He's got the drum gun too. I don't know where he got that one from. There's top 15 starting to roll in as well. And using the wood first. Very nice. Nobody pressuring. He can continue to do this. Good call from Chap too, paying attention to behind him. Ah, that's the problem with the wood. Easy to beam right through. He's got the resources though to stay alive and keep it up. Has the time too. He's delayed so much sitting on this side of the zone. Not sure if he meant to pick the dead side, but this is truly the dead side. No one's walked beside his box. No one's dropped down ahead from the top left side. He's forcibly taken peeks into people and gotten big pumps down. Not sure who that was, but goodbye. And oh my god, big refresh, but someone's in his tarp. Oh, the timing. There's really no opportunity there. He could have got the one pump, but I highly doubt that. Innocence and Agers take out Edgy. And it's, an, it's a knock plus a finish, so maybe Sentence still up. But regardless, they're at least, there. it's top 10, so they might have just taken out Edgy before top 10. That could be crucial in the path to catch up to Furious. Innocence and Agers, though, have a long way to go, and this is a good start. But still stuck down on low ground. Kind of difficult to really make anything more than this. Look at the space they have on this hill. They have nothing more than this. They have to walk around. They do finally get extra, but at the cost of Innocence losing some HP. And then another team comes in from behind. And fifth place is where they end. Bro, you're so freaking good. Too much of a cost. We tune in with Acorn, I think, winning out the game, possibly. Yep. It might be a... What teams were involved? And towards the end, not Panda and Stowe back at it again. 35 points right now because they have eight eliminations at this point of the game. And not Panda now clutching by himself. Is there more that he can find? Please tell me that not Panda does everybody in this lobby dirty. He starts off with one Elon to push himself up to nine total. Now 36 points. But no, he gets taken out by Npen, who himself was trying to clutch up. Yep, and there's multiple people all the way around. Don't pay attention to that elimination feed. It's going to be slightly off at the moment as to what's going on in the game. But Npen, earlier on at least, we can see, took out Dubs and Mega both simultaneously. Now looking for more action by himself. A possible super finish from here. We saw that these guys did place up second, so he ends up losing the last fight. Nonetheless, though, how many eliminations does he get moving forward in this final ninth zone circle, there's eight people left alive. Going down for Mats gets them off of a, uh, a dead body down there. Now has 38 HP to his name. Looks for more shots, gets more Mats, but is still playing like he's shambles. He has 100, blocks an RPG with one floor. Is playing shark. ultimate low ground. Looks like it's Shark all the way on height, looking to bite. And there's the next shot coming in. The shotgun misses, but Chucky Fishy gets sprayed down. There's a grappler available. He doesn't find it in his inventory. 10 HP left. It's not possible. No, it was Jack and Acorn all the way up on height. They end up getting that big finish, but Npen somehow surviving till second with pumps. I guess I'm used to <laughs> waiting for it. 36 wow. points for not Panda and Stowe, and Acorn and Jack push themselves up to 34. 
The Sentinel Edge, I believe, did have a little bit of a gain in points, but not enough to kind of catch up in the gap. That was a break game for 49 other duos in the region.